Right, hi then guys, we just thought we'd do our usual pre-auction walk around. It's uh, about a week or so to go until our next auction. And uh, I've been away for a few days, so I stuck my head in yesterday, but only for a few minutes, just to see exactly what had arrived while I've been away. And there's some really interesting cars. So Paul and I are gonna have a walk around, show you what we've got. Um, yeah, that was my logic when it came across uh, on the desk. I thought, might not be everyone's cup of tea, oh. but you can unbolt the bits you don't like, and then you've got whatever you want, haven't you? Of course you have. Um, so Put I just thought, when's the last time you actually, you actually found a solid C plate? Uh, not there, are they? Six Hilux, they're not there, are they? So no. I thought, although, like I say, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, possibly, but we're all different, aren't we? Yeah. You know, there's a guy who'll walk past that and buy that. And the next guy will walk past that and buy that. So you, you had you, one. You can't wait. I had one, same as that. Yeah, same as that, I know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, with Which Dick... is why you don't want another one. Yeah, I don't yeah. want another one. No, 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 no. no. Dick Peck Fun Countries it was on. That's Bloody... right. Yeah, they were, yeah. I mean, they seemed up... huge at the time. Up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got stuck on a Chris Rapper. That's right. Yeah, but enjoyed it. Mm. Uh, another E-Type in there. Good value for money at the moment. They are. They're they doing really well. are. People yeah. think you need £100,000 for an E-Type, full stop. You don't. You really, really don't. You can buy a lovely E-Type for considerably less than that. They are good value at the moment. They are. Uh, Hilux, yeah, Range Rover, always popular. This is a real In this condition. Thing. In this condition. Yeah. Well, to be fair, yeah. All right, not stunning, Where we know we? that, but a really, no, really a genuine thing. messed with old right, thing. We'll get the bonnet Just open in a minute. Know, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. There we go. Yeah. A little V8. Again, you know, not everyone's thing, are they? You know, a bit dirty, a bit oily and all the rest of it, but. I think, yeah, that's what's kept looks it. Looks real solid, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks a right genuine Lovely old little motor. Bentleys. I mean, again, if we're talking about value for money, yes, yeah, you just want to fire That up. must be value for money. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, that car today would probably be in excess of 150,000 quid. And um, yeah, I passed that. I was going to York the other night and I passed it on the A64 coming this way. And uh, it looked really impressive on the road. And when they then arrived the following day with it, I said, oh, I passed one of them just like that last night. They went, oh, it was us. We were coming up, stayed overnight hmm. and then went back south. I actually so, picked that as one of my top three. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I don't no. know why. Cause it, it just looks it, good value for money, doesn't I it? I think so. And it's just a lovely example. Yeah. Hmm. Brilliant value for money. Yeah. Yeah. And drove whatever, 150 whatever miles plus to us here. So that's a good test drive, isn't it, on that? Hmm. We get offered probably, I would think, 20 of these a week. VWs, um, campers uh, from early ones to later ones. I say to no overpriced to ones. Uh, mainly overpriced <laughs> ones. I get. I say no to. Well, if, if I get offered twenty a week, I must obviously by default say no to nineteen, mustn't I? Because we only have two or three. Um, at, mainly due to money and condition. Hmm. Um, obviously, they're a, they're a tricky thing to sell. These they really are. Everyone's got this lovely idea of owning one. Um, but they are iconic. That's what they are. They are. They're that's great. probably what makes them. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what makes them. It's a lo we have a love affair with these things. We really do, and, and 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 people do. They love the idea of buying a period camper like that and going out. Um, yeah. They just perhaps don't always meet expectations. But anyhow, that's good value for money. And obviously the Crestor there. I mean. Ah, uh, but. Oh. Three cresters. Oh, three cresters. Oh, yeah. Where three else did you go this week to find three, three crest crestas? Three crestas, granted, but this period of car. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I know. In those colours. I mean, that's just that's just shouting out, isn't it, that car? Brilliant. Yeah. What a lovely old car. Brilliant. Lovely old car. Yeah, if my dad was here, he'd be, uh, he'd be doing cartwheels and telling you stories about, about these, obviously, because my grandfather worked for Vauxhall for years uh, on mum's side. So, um, yeah. Lovely car, very American, aren't they? Very, um, what's the word Retro. I'm looking for? No, well, no, it was, no, what's the word I'm looking for? It'll come to me in a minute. Uh, Art deco -y, aren't they, type oh, car. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can no, certainly lovely. see the uh, American influence yes. in that era, can't you? You can't, yeah, exactly. Especially with Vauxhall, with these yeah. and the Victors and so forth. Yeah. yeah. Little MGs, they're always real popular. Again, lovely condition. Have look you had a look around it's that? Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at the engine bay and whatnot. Lovely. Absolutely stunning, that car. Yeah. No, lovely. Hmm. I've got a Come bad down bad from bad Scotland. Scotland. Just be careful with it. <clears throat> In fact, I'll leave that up because look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wow, isn't it? You'd eat your dinner off that, couldn't you? Yeah. 
Do you know what? I think that's probably one of the cleanest ones I've seen. It is stop. one. It is. It is up there with, with yeah. the best we've had. It really is. It is lovely. No yeah. weather gear. Really? You wouldn't want weather gear though, well, would you? Well, I suppose you wouldn't, because you wouldn't want to get it wet, would you? But, I'd open the curtains you know. and think, nah, you're all right. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to go out in the rain. Absolutely no way, not with that condition of car. i tell you what though, I'd compromise a bit and just have a tonneau. At least you can put your flying hat on, can't you? Zip the rest of it up if you get caught out, I suppose. Well, I suppose so. A tonneau would just... Um, and that, yeah. that tonneau um, is nice if you're parking up as well. It is really, keep people out. Put a tonneau on. It's a psychological yeah. thing, isn't it? it? Is. People yeah, don't yeah, tend yeah. to meddle if you've got a cover. Very no. much so. Mm. What else have we got? These Mercs, these Mercs are going okay, aren't they? As long as they're nice, they've got to be nice. Well, everything's again, got to be nice. Good but value. But these SLs, uh, 500s, 350s. And again, this is the shape you want, isn't it? This facelift yeah. model. Facelift model. Again, these yeah. are real good value for money. Jag drove up from London. Again, yeah. It's, um, oh, I'll tell you what, we must have a quick look at. This Citroen down here. <laughs> yeah. What's have a look caught at your eye now? Citroen. What a is lovely Citroen? condition car oh, that this. is. Is it? I haven't oh. seen it. Oh, look at it. You like these, don't you? I have a love affair with the French stuff. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. He loves them. But look at the condition of that car. I mean, what a car. Okay, we'll find a bonnet catch. Has they got a bonnet catch? Uh, well, they don't need one because they don't go wrong, do they? So you well, don't have to go underneath there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Gora. Well, I'm fighting with it, really. It's got hinges up here, so it must hinge at the front. Yeah, no, it's there, but I can't actually get hold of the thing. Hmm. I can see it, but I can feel it. Well, you're there then, surely. There you go, oh, there, there you go, 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 there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What a lovely car, though. It'd be a great driving old car. Oh, like a magic carpet. And I don't just mean a lovely model, uh, which they are. I mean, the car itself is just, yeah. Yeah, what a lovely car. That will drive like a magic carpet, that thing. It really will. Cortina, before we go further into the building, probably, probably the best condition 600D, I would think, available in the UK today. Certainly the best one we've had through. A wow car over there yeah. is the Cortina. Yeah. Even down to the point where the, uh, the owner went out and porch, uh, purchased a transporter, a lovely transporter, which is going to let me sell if the Cortina finds a new home. I think it's on a Sprinter chassis, I think from memory, just to move the Cortina around. It's that nice. Mm. Super low mileage Z, Datsun. Can't think how many miles on it, but it's, it's ultra low, isn't it? I want to say 36, but yeah, don't I want to say it. 36. Anyway, it's super, super low. It's either 20s or 30s. Yeah, so again, one of the lowest mileage cars I would think available today. We always have a sprinkling of this type of thing, don't we? Because you, we try and cater for everyone. Um, and affordable soft tops for people to have a bit of fun in the summer. Affordable convertibles. I think they're good. I think they're great. Just going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Usable, aren't they? Use them every day if you want, can't yeah. you? Tax them for the, for the summer. But it doesn't tie up a lot of money. And, uh, but it, what it does give you is a lot of fun. A lot of fun out. There's nothing like having a soft top car where the weather's nice. MG's over there. I'm a massive fan of those um, V8s. Uh, I think RV8s? RV8s, yeah. Big fan of them. I've never personally owned one. We've had a few as a company. Uh, when we were retailing back in the day. I've never personally owned one, but I am a fan of them. I think they're, um, I think they're, they're good value, these as well. They are, they? they are. Yeah. They should well, be to worth, be fair, everything be is good. More. I mean, if it, it is, the market's changed a lot in the last few months. It's become a buyer's market, uh, guys, making these things such good value. Uh, so it really is. And you can't beat one of these, can you? No. Lester, they, but you can't beat one full stop. You can't beat one <laughs> because they go so well and reliable. Yeah. Typical Honda. Brilliant. S2000s. Great little car. Mm. All round fun Bonnie. car that is. Yeah. Our top on it as well. Use it during the winter, but you wouldn't, would you? In all fairness, you wouldn't, but you could do. Bit of track day with it. Very forgiving car. Yeah. I know they've, um, they're, they're a bit pricey in comparison to uh, Mazda MX-5, for example, but they are a different beast altogether. I think there's a reason for that. Isn't there's there? a reason why they're different money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's that's true yeah. enough. Yeah. Look at this. This is Thunderbird. Crackering. Lovely, isn't she? Isn't she nice? Isn't it great? Drove. Well, in. I've been away for a, a few days, haven't I? So I, I walked back in yesterday, 
And I remember seeing some of these, obviously uh, on emails and things come through. Yeah. But I just had a very quick wander around and a very quick wander around yesterday morning. And yeah, I mean, look at that, that's iconic, isn't it? Next to that. <laughs> I know. I did a video the other day, Thunderbird. Yeah. Thunderbird. Yeah. Is Ooh. it? Is it Thunderbird? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. I think they I, call it Where did we go wrong? You know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. You can't get away from it. What went wrong? I tell you what, though, it's probably easier to go out and find one of them than it is to go and find one of it, them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. But, but that's yeah. eye candy. I mean, yeah. And yeah. that kind of isn't. <laughs> I know, but. There's someone for it. There Don't get me wrong. It says, yeah, well, yeah, we're all yeah. different. Uh, yeah, there is. And <laughs> yeah. more to the point, like you say, try and find one. Yeah, that's the thing. Not many of these on the market. No. 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 But right, right. again, the condition of the car. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, no, it's lovely. I get it. I get it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But then Volvos aren't everyone's cup of tea. I love them. Exactly. You know, minis aren't everyone's cup of tea. Mm, I'm on the shelf. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah. I Never mind that cool, Volvo you just touched on. Great. Better. Oh, yeah. I remember when that one came uh, um, flagged up on the, um, on the emails. And uh, I thought, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a lovely car. Other than oh. wants a bit of paintwork down here. Does he want a little bit down yeah, there? Yeah, a little bit down there and a bit of micro blistering up here. Oh, yeah, uh, it does on that still, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But generally, lovely thing. Lovely car. You can uh, address them bits, can't you? Oh, yeah. MGB GT, if you're going to buy an MGB GT, MGC, MGC. Which, oh, MGC, but still six cylinder MGC, obviously, as we all know, if you're going to buy an MGB or C, what you really want is a sliding roof. We, we just call them collectively Webasto. Obviously, there's other manufacturers out there. Webasto obviously being the, the, uh, the best known uh, brand in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and probably even now. Uh, so I was talking to, I don't know who it was, quite a number of years ago now, I think one of, one of our regular um, customers, um, and he said, I think the best value for money classic car um, is an MGB GT with a Webasto roof because you've got almost all the benefits of a convertible because obviously you get a big hole in your roof um, and then you've got all the usability of an MG. And yeah, probably difficult to argue with that. I think he's dead right. Yeah, yeah. I'd have a GT with a Webasto rather than a, over and, a, over yeah. and above a Roadster person. They are very usable. They are, yeah. Mm. And, you're and just I'd a, have a C in preference. If well, were, yeah, but still, yeah, exactly. So, mm. yeah, just a bit more money, aren't they? But even so. Yeah. And you're leaning on probably the best driving MGB they ever done. MG they ever made. Yes. An MGA. They drive. They do drive you get nice. a nice one of those, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You get a nice one of those and they drive like a modern Mazda MX-5. They do drive they nice, are yeah, I'll give you that. to drive. Hit your head yeah. on the way in light, but they And the only nice. reason, obviously, they ceased production is um, <coughs> it didn't quite fit the American criteria, did it? Mm. But again, the difference in, um, yeah, I mean, these drive, these drive nice, but they just drive like something else. They, they mm. really do drive well. What's the story with this one? I don't, I don't remember this one. I, I, again, I don't know. I've been up the street in it. It seems to drive nice once service light bits and pieces on. She's obviously um, been stored up for a while. And it's been, yeah, barn fine type thing, yeah. Um, there'd so, be someone well, for that, wouldn't there? We thought we'd leave it as it was. Yeah, there'd be somebody We'd for that. We'd have a wander down here. Yeah, shall we go down to unit two and see, uh, or unit one even, and see, um, and see what's floating around down there? Oh, XK150 over there by the looks of things, yeah. Good, right, we'll have a wander down and see what's at the other one, eh? Look at that, eh? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's a good, good condition car, that, as well. Yeah, yeah, it is a lovely little car. Yeah, look at that. Remember that first, first, I think it was the first rally we ever did? You remember, on the start line in our little Skoda? Yeah, yeah. And there was an Estelle in front, and we thought, oh, well, at least we're not going to be last, and he set off off the start line. I don't know what, now you said that, I do. And, yeah, yeah. and I looked at you, and you looked at me, and we went, Oh. <laughs> he was running a Vauxhall engine in money. Well, to be fair, even in uh, standard form, they used to, not standard form, but even with the, you know, with the Skoda love, they used to win the class every year, didn't they? I suppose so, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, I so. never forget him set off from that start line, and I just thought, oh, oh God. <laughs> I know. But a rare car, really, when you think. No, yes. One every, what do we get? One every four years, five years? Yeah. So, no, uh, no, as no, opposed no. to. 20 MGBs every sale. A month. Yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. 20 a month, one every five years. So, yeah. um, 
and a nice one at that. Very much so. I do turn down the odd project one, I must admit, because... Um, be it yeah. Seals, when he's doing with his eyes all over that. There will be. I know, there should be, shouldn't there? I'll tell you where it would have gone. It would have gone straight round to Peter Chapman, who was... Um, yeah, it's going down. It's going down. He'd have had it straight in his show with Peter back in the day. It's it's cheap, though, isn't it? I know, the trouble being is, though, there's not many uh, privately owned manufacturers uh, agency now, there? No, they're all corporate, aren't they? They're all big groups and so forth, so... Yeah, and they haven't really... They don't look, they don't, they've got to fit in this criteria. They don't sort of think out of the box and think, oh, I've no. one of them into it, just, you know. Probably it's talking point, interest, etc. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice extra, extra S, got two here. There's one there to your right. There's one over here on my left. Again, offered 20, again, a week, either in convertible, cabriolet, or hardtop form, whatever. I sent those 19 of them. Uh, for various reasons, uh, condition, mileage, money, the whole thing. When you do tick all the boxes, when you get a nice car in, in nice condition with central mileage, then they do sell, they do go really well. Uh, and there is a good market for them, but they've got to be that top, that top, that be like some 10% really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the top yeah. 10%. The breeds, we always have a few Capri's kicking about. Again, three litre gear, I believe that one is. Sensible on the money. I seem to have cornered the market on minimums. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, six. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. There's half a dozen just here in this corner. Well, again, offered 25 minis a week. Um, they're always popular, aren't they? Absolutely. Always popular. Yeah. This period of car production, pre-war, post-war, car production is such good value. Struggling a bit. Oh, at the they are yeah. brilliant value. They really are when you think Four, five, bucks. six, seven thousand pound gets you a stunning little car. Yeah. You know, and, and, and in today's world, it's not. It's not a massive amount, amount of money, is it? No, and, and like that there, the little ten, still fairly usable. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're I tell you what, I find myself linked. I mean, our father has a big collection of things, and he was always and is very passionate about this era of, uh, of production. Uh, and while I could always appreciate them for what they were, they were never really floated my boat, if I'm honest. But as I'm getting older. Uh, much older, um, they are starting to interest me. I tell you what, I, I if it, if it, oh, honestly, no, I honestly, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. The R5 Fiesta can stay in the garage, and I get one of these out. Yeah, get that Fiesta to Jack, and uh, yeah, honestly, I'm, if if a really nice oily ragged, yeah, you like them a little bit scruffy. Yeah, right? 10, 12, 14 horsepower, something Austin, whatever that came along. Um, you could see yourself would, yeah. running about. I'll tell you what, I'd take the dogs up the forest in it every morning, I'd just use it and enjoy it, I would, yeah. I'd sell the old Virgo dog car and I would just <laughs> use one of them and I'd be James. I watch too much James Harry, you see, that's the trouble. Yeah, I don't watch any of this modern stuff. I always watch all the programmes in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, one channel of a morning, you've got Minder followed by the professionals or the other way around. I have a job leaving the house in the morning. We haven't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Porsche Boxers, MGZ3s. Again, Mini we have a we have a yeah we have a sprinkling of these because they're good value for money. Yeah, Dad was doing some bits about the Moog. Um, there's some yeah he was he was he was looking into it as far as right engine, right gearbox, right this, right that yesterday. I don't know quite what his conclusions were. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, little Audi A2. We sold this car. I think probably about two years ago, and the vendors just fancied something a little different. Bedford. Transit van is a very unusual one. That's the one with all the covert uh, surveillance, surveillance equipment in the back. Yeah, that's an unusual thing. Rover P5. Uh, Margaret Thatcher's most favourite car. So uh, they actually purchased a few of these towards the end of production, put them in storage just because it was her favourite car to be chauffeured around in. Quite right, so they're lovely, aren't they? Lovely car. BMW 318iS, almost one owner from you, I think. Current lady and gentleman have had it since it was about 10 months, 12 months old. 40 odd thousand miles, lovely. Yeah, and Mondeo's, I mean, look at that, I mean, the Mondeo. We were on almost, almost, uh, <laughs> almost on every street corner, really, weren't they? Well, were eh? A bit like a mini, a mini metro. But where, I mean, let's be honest, we only probably, that period of Mondeo 
What's it that long ago? Well, I know, but I bet we only get offered one of them, a nice one every year. Yeah, because there's none left. I know. All gone. Same as a cavalier. Yeah, when cavalier. do you see a nice cavalier? Oh, over there. Well, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're lovely. They are. I did 15 miles in half last week. Oh, uh, did a bit of filming with it, and uh, and it just took me straight back to being whatever I was, 17, 18, with one. Tried lovely. Brilliant. The rep's favourite car, I would think, either the Cavalier or the Monday. Yes, they were a good car. They were? They were a good car. They yeah, are they a good were. car. That is a good car. This one obviously isn't Gil Remart. No, 50 some of it? 49. 49, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 49,000 miles. One to put away. It is really, isn't it? Mm. And or then we've got. Use for the rest of your life. Yeah, or, 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 yeah, or carefully use it for the next 10, 15 years. It cost you yeah. zero, isn't it? That car, if you keep exactly. it lubricated underneath. Cost you nothing. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time in the bike shop. Ooh, lots of bikes. Is there? Yes. All right. Let's have a look. Yeah, plenty of bikes. Pass the guard boats. Hello, little boys. Good boys. Good boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, lots of bikes come in. Again, bits of all sorts, trikes and whatnot, and a bit of modern gear. I don't know if you broken that one, but uh, a bit of modern stuff. And then, yeah, lots of I tell you, these bikes are good value for money at the moment. Yeah. We've called them the Martin Chocolate then. Yes, yeah. Well, there's two in reception. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, and then we've got a shelf. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. What colour would sell that? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so we've called them the Martin in Choppers. We have. That's a nice bike. Look at that. Little under 350. Again, there's some nice, nice. Electric start as well, so that should be a yeah, uh, that would sell. 400 yards. Stunning, look. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Mm. That's a nice little bike, isn't it? Oh, it's a Japanese thing. Yeah, little Jin Lun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. 700 miles. Yeah. yeah, done nothing. Yeah, yeah, I had it running the other day. Yeah, lovely little bike, little lightweight. You know, when, <laughs> when these get a bit heavy for you, yeah, you get exactly. Onto a little Japanese thing. Oh, but that's an unusual machine. Look at that. That is an unusual machine. Yeah, that's a common trip underneath the yoga. Yeah. Bit of trailing stuff at the back there. Yeah. What's the orange thing? I don't know what that is. Uh, that orange. is. Uh, oh, what? Duke. Oh, KTM. Oh, yes. KTM. Oh, okay. That's unusual. Yeah, like a supermoto type thing. Look at the other day. There's another weird and wonderful thing. We just did next to a weird and wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I can't think that bike I was looking at. There was there was one that um, I had no idea what they were. That did a little bit of uh, homework. I think it's uh, a lot of Oh, is it? Armstrong, huh? Yeah, we had a Bombardier, didn't we, version? Mm. Yeah, a little lightweight. These are real popular. These little 90s. I, I say it every time, it should be the law. We uh, You should own one of these. And, uh, At some point in your life. Yeah, you should. Unfortunately, the moment in time, I don't. Uh, I'm just waiting for the right one to come along. But these are nice and clean, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. I think that, like, Again, I want an oily rag one, really. I want a little bit more like this. I missed one last time. There was a red one. <laughs> I know, I know. I kicked myself. I know, I know. I kicked myself. There was a lovely... Why didn't you miss it? I mean, why? There was a lovely... Uh, there was a lovely... <laughs> It was a lovely, genuine red one. I'll have a word with Jack. He might be able to talk you out of it. Oh. <laughs> no, I think it, it just went on and on and on money-wise. I think it ended up pushing three thousand pounds. Oh my lord! And at the time, you think, oh, looking back now, I think we should just. I owe some. That's what I was trying to see. Who? <laughs> all the rest of it. I owe some. Oh, yeah, that's unusual. Mm. Yeah, that is unusual. That's a nice bike, too. Isn't it? That's nice, Honda. Yeah. Yeah. VFR, I have a VFR over there under the cover. Probably the most over engineered bike Honda ever made. They had a bit of a disaster with earlier models. And then they went the extra mile with the VFR and, uh, and made a bike that I think is regarded as probably the best bike ever made, really, for reliability and so forth. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have one over there. I haven't actually even ridden it yet. I've only had it about 10 years and never ridden it, damn thing. Never had time. Yeah. Now then, if you've got a. Uh, Bit of time free at the weekend, and you and the missus want to go out. What better way? Get yourself a tandem. Want to stick her up front, though? No. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Don't know about Keep that. giving her a bit of a 
the helping hand get a pedal in a bit more. Mm. Yeah. More chopper than it. I know it's not the bike, but um, uh, used to love watching chips. <laughs> used to love watching chips. It reminds me of chips. Do you remember chips? You won't remember chips, you're too young. Yeah, when you get back, Google chips. Yeah, can't remember the two characters' names. Uh, obviously they would have been on Harley Davis's back in uh, back in the day in the, in America. But yeah, chips. You still love watching chips as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Is this van coming in bits? Yeah, that's good, very funny. Uh, some more of it coming? No, I think that's it. Oh, wall up. Wall up. Oh, okay. Wall up that one. Huh. We've got a load of memorabilia again. The shelves there are bare at the moment for stuff that's, once it's sold, it comes back on and goes onto those shelves. But Andy and, uh, and Alan have been having a big sort out with memorabilia. We're, we're finally, we've had this ongoing battle for the last year or two, um, post COVID battle with memorabilia. We're finally um, getting to grips with it, aren't we? We had a huge backlog. Having said that, there is a tremendous amount of stuff to process and thought on that over the next few months. But we're getting there, so we're getting caught up. Yeah. So, I think that sort of summarises up. I think well, we'll the, next the next week, yeah. There's a bit yeah. of all sorts, as we've just discussed, obviously, with a lot of stuff up in Unit 2, some really nice stuff in Unit 1, a load of motorbikes in here. Bit of all sorts of memorabilia. We've cornered the market on choppers. So, um, yeah, there you go. So, uh, we'll see what happens next next week. That's it. Good show. Thanks for watching.